Hey YouTubers and welcome back to Tony the Technician's channel and today we're going to be doing a couple comparisons between a couple of tire shine products. Uh, well they're kind of universal products but really good tire shine products. Uh, not just tire shine but a protectant as well. Now you know your most common DIY you know kind of tire shine that you see around is armor rolls, tire foam, and extreme tire shines. And I used to use these all the time when I was younger and they created a really, you know, shiny finish. There's a lot of downsides to it though. Uh, it wasn't a great protectant. It, it flung chemical all over the side of my car every time I did it, if I used too much, especially when you get to using an oil-based product, yes, they tend to last longer as far as looks, but they have more downsides to them than I would say pros. Uh, so I kind of moved away from them. I still use the tire foam spray can if I'm ever in a hurry and I just go back and make sure to wipe it off so I don't get any of that tire fling. But as far as any other Armor All product, I really don't use them anymore. I don't care for them. And I've been trying to test out as many other brands as possible. Uh, and today I'm going to be going into two products that I find to be really good tire protectors and uh, gives it a nice, clean, good looking finish. Not super shiny, but not dull, uh, but does a really good job. So we'll get these out of the way. And of course, before using any tire shine or protectant on your vehicle you do obviously want to clean the tire and rim and everything first which here I use wheel cleaner and another wheel cleaner these seem to work good I will be doing a video on these in the future uh, so stay tuned for that that is uh, the signature series wheel cleaner and the Diablo Diablo wheel cleaner which tend to work pretty good uh, so I'll be doing a video on these as well as a couple other brands showing you comparison videos and all that. So stay tuned for that. But these rims and tires are already clean and ready to go. So obviously we're just gonna go straight into shining and protecting the tires. And today we're gonna be using VRP, Silk Shine, and then another one I wanna talk about is the Bare Bones. Uh, I will be comparing the VRP and Silk Shine dressing and then the bare bones is just something I want to discuss real quick. The, the bare bones is an oil based dressing, which a lot of tire shines are. Uh, and those tire shines do tend to be a darker shine and last longer. But then, you know, you get the oil. And there's downsides to being an oil based. An oil based one you can only use on the exterior. And you more often than not you get it's more common to get the tire sling on the side of the vehicle but the pro is it does look if you like that super dark look oil base usually does do that better and it does tend to last a little bit longer that doesn't bother me though that is why I use water based I just feel like it's a better uh, product when it comes to my tires yes it doesn't last as long but with as often as I wash my vehicles I don't need it to last you know forever so that's why i'm going to be comparing the vrp and the silk shine dressing both of those being water-based so you're going to get a nice shine a nice clean look uh, without being over shiny and uh, a decent durability length in them so both of these are more universal not just specifically for tires and that's why I use this because I don't have to spend money on an extra tire shine anymore because I can use this as a tire shine uh, for dashes, for doors, for exterior trim. I mean, a lot of different uses, both of them being good for vinyl, rubber, and plastic. So that's really nice. I use this on my tires and engine bay and some of the black trim around the vehicle. And then this I use for the engine bay, <laughs> engine bay the black trim around the vehicle, uh, interior, it works good on the dash and doors and all of that. It, they're both an all around really good product. This one being a dropper, you just put, apply a little bit to a microfiber towel or foam uh, applicator pad or microfiber applicator pad or anything like that 
and then this being a spray which you can apply either directly to the pet or directly to the surface depending on what you're cleaning or protecting and that's the other great thing about them they both have uv protection uh, not only is it a shine but it's a protector so we're going to go ahead and get these on the tires and uh, see which one you guys like or see if there's much of a difference and you guys might be able to save some money all right, YouTubers, so what we have here is the Silk Shine on the left, VRP on the right. I have the tire taped off uh, center line, and we're just gonna be using a couple of different, or an applicator pad to apply this. And uh, there's many different styles out there. You got this from Chemical Guys. This is what I use Silk Shine uh, for interior. This is just your generic tire shine applicator. This one just happens to have a little handle on it. Some of them just are the foam. But I'm actually going to be using these Glero. I think that's how you pronounce it. G-L-E-A-R-O. Hex handle foam pads. I have two of them. I'll be using one for the Silk Shine, one for the VRP, and applying uh, the chemicals to both sides of the tape and see how they come out. First off, we're gonna start with the Silk Shine. And I'm just going to simply spray it on the applicator pad and apply it to the tire. The great thing about this is it's water-based, so it's easy to apply. It goes a long ways, a little goes a long ways. It's easy to clean up and wipe off if it's too much. And these applicator pads are amazing for doing tires. Now, I'm not going to be able to get the very bottom of that. I don't have the car up on two by four or lift it up or anything. So, and the great thing about this is you can go back with your microfiber towel, simply wipe it off, which I will do after doing the VRP side. And obviously I did not need that much silk shine on this applicator pad. Next up being the VRP, I'm just going to do a few drops. Both are gonna give a nice rich look. Nothing super shiny, nothing, you know, ridiculous. It's going to be a nice clean finish. Nice semi-gloss look. It's basically going to bring your tires back to life. Look, and that's what I like. I just like a nice, dark, clean looking tire. And that was just four small drops of the VRP. And then I have rag specific four tires. So. I never use towels that I use on tires or exhaust or anything anywhere else. You can always knock it back just like I'm doing now just to get your desired look. So I'll bring you in for a closer look of the tire and uh, let me know what you guys think. Okay, so there it is. Sorry, my tape. I removed it and kind of had some bleeding underneath the tape. So it's not exactly the perfect uh, line to separate them, but you can see the difference. Center being untouched. Silk shine over here. And then VRP on the right. The VRP to me has a deeper, richer look, uh, but that Silk Shine is still doing a really good job of freshening up the tire. I think both are really good tire shines. I'm gonna go ahead and just hit the entire uh, tire <laughs> and get it looking brand new and let me know what you guys think. Alrighty, so there you have it, the VRP and Silk Shine. I just went ahead and used the VRP to finish up the center lines and everything. Uh, these are by far my favorite tire applicator pads that I've ever used. Uh, really enjoy them and they're not badly priced. I think it was eight, 
I want to say maybe around $10 for the two of them. So really good pricing on those uh, and a little bit cheaper. They're the same thing as a few other brands sell them as, uh, but cheaper. And uh, all of these items will be linked down in the description for you guys if you guys are interested. But I think it came out really nicely. Let me know your guys' thoughts. I think it makes for a really good tire shine, both of them, uh, not being over glossy or anything like that. So please let me know your guys' thoughts. See you guys in the next one. If you guys enjoyed, please hit that thumbs up, leave a comment down in the uh, comment section. And as always, subscribe if you're not a subscriber. See you guys next time.